Welcome to the Bentec Industrial Design Tutorial. Aside from its importing capabilities, Bentec's industrial product comes equipped with two separate single part designers, one for straight parts and one for parts containing bends. In this video, we will show you how to create simple parts in these designers, include coped and mitered ends, adjust for rotation and angles, and how to prepare these parts for fabrication in DXF format. To start a new project from the task menu screen, Click on the File tab at the top of the screen and click on the New Coping Part Straight option. A window will appear prompting you to select a material to begin the design. So maximize the screen and select your desired material from the drop down menu to the left. Then enter the length of your part in the Part Length field and show the cross tubes by checking the Display Cross Tube checkboxes. 90 degree angled copes will be applied by default, but you can change them to mitered cuts by selecting the miter option for each side as seen here. Change the angle of the cut by entering a new value in the angle field. And change the rotation by entering a value in the rotation field. View wrappers for these cuts by clicking the wrappers button here. These will contain the information needed for cuts that can be printed out individually to be wrapped around the tube for hole saw cutting or notching. Send this design to the industrial part interface to see it in an unfolded view. Then start a nesting project with this part by going up to the transfer tab at the top of the screen and selecting the new industrial nesting option from the list. In the nesting window, enter a value for your stock length of tubing in the stock length field and double click on the part to add copies of it to your project. Next, minimize the current window and start a new design by selecting the file tab to the left and selecting the new coping part bent option from the list. Then, maximize the window and select the die and material from the drop down menus to the left. Now, enter the part's dimensions in the length, rotation, and angle fields as seen here. Then, click the Home button to bring the part into focus and select the Cut Start tab to alter the starting profile of the part. Here, click the Coping Fish Mouth option and check the Display Tubes as Cut checkbox. Then, follow the same steps under the End Cut tab to apply these simple copes. Finally, enter 45 in the Angle field and 90 in the Rotation field to complete this part. Now, select the Transfer tab at the top of the screen once again and choose the existing industrial nesting project to send the part there. Then, minimize the window, maximize the nesting window, and double click on the new part to add it to the stock tube. With your design completed, you can export it as a DXF file for your plasma cutting machine by clicking on the File tab above and selecting the Data DXF Export option. Thank you for completing the industrial part tutorial. For more information on the industrial product and others, contact us over the phone or by email. And make sure to visit our website at www.ben-tech.com.